Hey everybody, this is Andrew from DIY Security Supplies. Today I'm going to show you how we make our Cat6 LAN cable to any length that our customers ask for, from 1 meter up to 100 meters. Uh, we just make it at the length that they ask for and then that goes in the box with the rest of the equipment. All our customers have to do is run it out and plug it in and the system literally does go. There is customization that can be done on the system once it's up and running. That's in another video. But for now, I just want to show you how we actually make our own Cat6 cable specifically to length for our customers. Okay, so the first thing we want to do, of course, is grab our reel of cable. We use uh, Crone Cat6, uh, which is a grey cable, and let's get into it. So here we have the tools of the trade and what we need for the job. So the first thing is an RJ45 data connector, which is one of these guys, and this is a boot cap that uh, a boot that goes over the end like that when we finish the job. This is uh, sheath strippers, scissors, crimps, crimps very very important, and a screwdriver, and we'll get to that as well. So the first thing we do is we bring out our length of cable and using the strippers. Just take off a little bit like so, and okay, now, this is a Kevlar strip. What some people do is they take the Kevlar and they strip it, they rip it back, the sheath, and then they cut the sheath off. And that's to make sure that none of the data cable inside any of these pairs, there's four pairs, so eight little cables all together. Um, because I use these strippers, I actually don't use those. So we'll just take the Kevlar off. Okay, now there's a little plastic separator in the middle of the cable as well. I just pull this off. Okay, and then we start untwisting this guy. So we've got four pairs. We have a solid orange color with white orange. We're gonna use these guys. Okay, use the screwdriver and we just straighten this out. Straighten that guy out just to take the bends. So there's our orange and a white orange. Okay, it's just so that we know these colors. Okay, I'll go around like this. This is the solid blue and a white blue. I'll just see if you can actually see. Oh, no, it's not gonna come up, unfortunately. Anyway, not to worry. So straighten these guys out so it's a solid blue and a white blue and they're all relevant and I'll show you why in a minute take the green and the white green untwist these guys it is a bit of a process can actually straighten them out together but I'll just do them separately so do the solid green and the white green and then we're going to do the solid brown and a white brown. Straighten these guys out. All right. Okay. Now I'm doing this on a towel. It's just I, what, I like to do that because then I can just pick the towel up and. Go and shake everything into the bin. Alrighty, um, just trying to find the center of the picture now. So the way, these go in an order. Before we put the RJ45 connector on, we move all of these colors into a certain order. And the way we do it in Australia is we start off with the white green and then the solid green. Then we do the white orange and then the solid blue. Then we do the white blue. Then the solid orange. Then we do the white brown. <clears throat> and then the solid brown. Now you may have realized that I've just alternated between 
the solid colors and the white colors okay so I've gone white green solid green the white orange and then solid blue white blue solid orange white brown and the solid brown and that is the standard that we use in Australia now before we do anything else I could have done this at the start and maybe should have I'm gonna put this boot on slip the boot over these guys go over the whole lot because that's going to slide over the RJ45 connector <clears throat> when we're done rightio so I'll just make sure we're still in order which we are okay one thumb length up from the cut trim the cable nice and quick it's all caught with the towel which all then goes in the bin and we slip on our connector okay so the way that you do it is with the little coppers actually facing upwards so we slip this guy over and it's all got individual little slots and they will slot in we just make sure that the colors are right and then we give it a wiggle just like the wiggles wiggle 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 a little bit of a shake shake okay and that will just make sure that all of those individual cables inside the cat 6 are right up to the end of the rj45 connector okay look that's it i'm just doing an inspection i can see it all the little coppers along the end of the the connector so i'm going to grab my crimps slip those on here press Okay, and that crimps everything in place. Now I take my boot cover, put the boot cover over the end, and there we have a beautiful, once I actually straighten it up, <laughs> oh dear. Okay, there we go. There's a beautifully finished RJ6 cable. Now we just measure out the length and do the same thing on the other end. Okay, so I've just measured out 25 meters because we've got a customer that um, asked for a bunch of cables and one of them's a 25 meter length, so that's what this is. So I'm just gonna cut that now. Just good old scissors. I do have cable snips, but anyway, that's okay. Scissors are fine, providing they're sharp enough. So I'm just gonna go through the process again. Take the end off, cut the Kevlar, little Kevlar strip. Take out the separator. Again, to hold on to the separator, you can use um, pliers. I don't usually bother. I just pull it out like this. And if it gets really stretchy like this, you know what I do? I just snip it, because then it retracts in. Okay, I'm going to pause this video just whilst I actually separate these, okay? I've, I've actually put the boot cover on already you might notice so what we've got again we've got the white green green the white orange blue the white blue whoops now it's got a bit mixed up the solid orange the white brown and then the solid brown so we stretch these guys out so they're all in the right order and that will match up with the cable at the other end obviously so Again, one thumb's distance from the end of the cable. Just hold my thumb on there just to hold everything in place. Quick snip onto the towel, which all goes in the bin. Okay, put on the RJ45, which is also called an 8P8C. So if you're looking for them, 8P for Peter, and then the number 8C for cat. Okay, put that on. Another wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Okay, they're crimps. This will do a six pair, which is for telephone, and four pair, which is also for telephone. Um, but 8P is in the middle, so that goes through. You can actually see it comes through to the other side there. So it's in there nicely. Give it a squeeze. Okay, everything gets pushed into place. All the little pins on the bottom get pushed up into the cable on the inside there. The boot goes on. 
try that again. The boot goes on. It does go on. Just like so. And we now have a complete cable from one end to the other. And that's pretty much it folks. So here's our 25 meter cable. Both ends fitted off nicely. I've actually just tested it. I don't need to show you that, but that passed. And that's ready to go. So what we do is we um, uh, just put some strapping on that just to keep it intact. That's what goes into the box with the equipment. And good to go. Um, customer just has to run, run that out and plug it in. Job done. Thank you.